Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about certain plants being sold in retail stores that are really not actually what they are. So certain plants that can be considered a scam or certain plants that are deceiving or just really not the way they are. So in today's video, I will be busting a few things or giving you a few warnings about certain plants that may not look exactly how you look because of course when we go into plant stores or when we go to areas to buy our plants we also always look at the appearance which is obviously the most important part or aspect of having a plant in a home so in today's video i will be going over a few plants there's not too many but i will elaborate more on them and this is going to be mostly around plants in big box stores because this is where i mostly see them not so much on local plant shops or like the big companies but more around the big box stores or home improvement stores so with that said let's get started with the video first plant that I personally think is absolutely at the top of my list in this video is blue flowered orchids or I should actually say painted flowered orchids because they're actually not real and I know that is deceiving but when you walk into a big box store or even a home improvement store or grocery store sometimes you can find the legit Phalaenopsis orchid itself with its natural color or sometimes you will find these beautifully painted blue orchids and I'm sorry to tell you but they are fake now if you absolutely want to get one because it looks cool and you just really want that color you can absolutely go ahead and get it but here is my warning that blue flower is not going to be what you expect when the plant reblooms because it's not actually in its proper genetics it's not actually hybridized in any way now how people do it is they would normally go to the orchid flower spike but here I don't really have one but if you do look at the flowers you can closely tell that the veins on its petals are blue but actually not the entire petal and that's actually how I can tell sometimes if it is a legit color or not or if it's just painted but it's not going to apply in all cases and sometimes they come in different colors so judging it just because it's blue is probably not going to do anything because over the years I have seen other colors like oranges greens and sometimes even pinks now how people usually do it is they would go to the orchid flower spike and they're going to go to the most easiest spot where they can put a needle or make a puncture in it and there's going to be maybe some sort of dye most probably it's going to be just your typical food dye or food coloring the stuff you apply when you're baking things and they would use that blue color puncture into the flower spike and then they're going to take some sort of tape or whatever and they're going to tie it up for a few days or even overnight depending on how big and how fast the ink reaches to the plant then that ink is going to travel through its stem since that is the color that's inserted into the plant itself and that color will soon reach the flowers hence that's how the flowers become blue now the problem with this that is deceiving is when people buy it they're going to expect the plant to be blue from now on I spent like I mean the flowers but the thing is since it's not properly in its genetics it's going to rebloom a different color now most probably it's going to rebloom white but sometimes it can be pink yellow or even a totally different color now most of the time it's going to be white when it reverts back to its original color simply because it's the easiest color to get that natural tint of blue on there now if you really want a blue orchid sadly there is no true blue orchid but there are some orchid species out there or even hybrids that can get really close so let's just stick around the realm of saying the purplish color orchid because there really is no blue now I want to state if you want to get the orchid ink with the blue you can absolutely do it it's not harmful to the plant in any way so don't worry about the plant dying because of that and this is also an easy project you can try it at home if you want to it's not going to um, affect the flowers for long term only for that one bloom cycle and then once it's over it's going to be done and yeah, so I want to keep this important because not lots of people know this and a lot of people accidentally fall for the trick assuming the flowers are blue when they're really not. Next, we have painted succulents. And by the way, this here is not actually a succulent. This is a spider plant 
but I do not have any succulents to show you since they are no longer. My whole collection is completely gone. I will be sure to give an update on that really, really soon. But I do want to say that painted succulents in general are actually one of the most frequently sold plants on the market, which to me is quite upsetting because the survival rate of those plants are really low after they are coated with an artificial coloring. Now, most of the times you can find these on Valentine's Day since anything bright colored, especially red or pink, gets sold during that time or during the winter seasons in the holiday time like where we are at now. Now, the actual plant itself is real. It's not fake in any way. What is fake though is the color or the color of the leaves. Now, of course, on the internet, you might actually find legit succulents with actual really unique leaves. And obviously you should go with those, but for the ones that you find in big box stores, you might want to investigate a little bit before you search around. Now, most of the times, artificial colored on succulents are going to be very bright neon colors. If you can't see anything else on the leaves besides its own color, or, well, sometimes, of course, there are exceptions, but if it looks so fake to you, just don't even get it unless it's for sure you know it's not going to be artificial color or you just want to get it because whatever, for whatever reason. So, the actual plant itself is actually coated with spray paint, which is, I do believe, the most common way they would color a certain plant since it is really like time saving. It does not take a lot of time and it also does not cost as much as if you're going to manually take a brush and brush it. Now, I will answer on the screen why or some evidence how it is actually not the way it is actually marketed on on in stores because if you do notice the leaves have certain parts and i'm going to pause that footage so you can have a better look there is a small portion of the plant where you can see that leaf is showing a tint of chlorophyll so it's actually green and then you can tell it's actually just a coating of paint that's applied on top of the leaves now if you want that color that's totally fine but there is another threat to it the plant cannot photosynthesize really well since that coating simply blocks off whatever these leaves are trying to catch. Now, it's going to probably not completely block out all the light since depending on what type of paint they use, but I will tell you that these plants that are being spray painted will become an issue when it comes to growth and their rate of growth and how well they do is going to be a lot impaired and is going to decline really really quickly so i will warn you on that if you want a plant that's going to give you a lot of joy and survive for quite a while maybe go on the plant next door maybe not quite that plant because that one is simply not the one for us and you can definitely remove the artificial painting but or the artificial paint, but who wants to go through that when you can just buy another plant and just be completely hassle-free and just enjoy the way it is? The plant itself, like this, without any artificial color, is already beautiful. So anyway, that is also fake. Surprising, right? Yep. The third plant that is commonly sold in big box stores are cacti. Now here, you don't really see much since this plant is at the stage of recovering and I've already gotten rid of it. But most of the times, people would assume what's actually on the cacti is real, but it's fake. So what people normally do when they sell cacti like this to customers like us, they would add a fake sort of thing that is supposed to somehow imitate a cacti flower. Now, first off, it is very damaging to the plant because the glue they use is going to be attached to all their spines and might potentially rip the actual plant itself if you try to remove it. This cacti I have here, see this area? I put some cinnamon on it because the wounds were exposed after I removed the flower. And this is the damage that happens right after that flower. Now that is actually not real. It is actually made out of plastic. Now, if you Google images of cacti flower online, they will look different. They're going to look more like a passiflora or a clematis, nothing that resembles what you will see right now that I'm posting or inserting on the screen. 
And most of the times people do this because many people sometimes they might want bright colors to their homes or just something that's intriguing. But little do they know, it's actually fake. And also cacti flowers do not last long. They probably only last for about three to four days or some, most of them actually last for only a few hours to a day or so. So if you're starting to notice that the cacti flower is staying on for over a week to the point it gets to a month or a year, maybe it's time you consider you actually get a cacti without the flower and then give it proper care and it'll actually give you a real flower. So I will like to warn you that that flower can be really hard to remove and is really damaging and I don't understand why they still want to do that because they, there could be many different ways. You can sell it with a decorative container, you can do many other things. I just think attaching glue to the plant itself is just simply the worst thing you want to do, especially to cacti because their spines are like one of their most important things in keeping them hydrated. The last plant I have for you is Lucky Bamboo. This one, nothing is really wrong with it. How they're sold or marketed, there's nothing wrong with it. They're just normally like that. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with the plant itself or the way it's being packaged or grown in a big box store. But I do want to let you know, it's not a bamboo. So if you want a real bamboo, that's not going to be it. It's actually a draconian. Actually, on this video initially, I did not see it on the tag. But when I zoomed in, I did notice they did include the actual proper name. So Lucky Bamboo itself is not actually a type of bamboo. It's actually a type of draconia that can live in water, which is really cool. I think you can actually propagate dracanias in water. But anyway, that has been about it for today's video. I hope you found this video useful, especially if you're going to go plant shopping, especially in the holidays for loved ones or friends. So I hope you will take this video into consideration when you're getting a plant. I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't buy it. I will just give you a warning that they're not what you expect them to be. So anyway, that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it useful, entertaining, or inspiring if it helped you. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you want to see more content from me. Give a like down below so it helps me out and others too. Consider turning on notifications if you want to become notified. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!